Breeze. Pass is incomplete. No flag. That should have been a penalty. And John Payton is justifiably upset. Here it comes. Zerline hits it with the right foot. And his kick is good. With 15 seconds left to tie it. The two best teams in the NFC cannot this quarters. Arm is hit. Ball is in the air. It is intercepted. John Johnson the third. And he has given his offense a chance to win it in overtime. Zerline sets up for a 57-yard try to win the NFC Championship game. The hold is down, and Greg Zerline sends the Rams to the Super Bowl. L.A. will play for the Lombardi. I think really the overtime period personifies what this team's really all about. Defense gets a turnover. Jared makes an unbelievable play to Higby to be able to even get us in uh, under 60-yard field goal range. And then Greg the leg delivers in a big way. But uh, just so happy for these players, for these coaches. Um, but a lot of respect for the, for the Saints. And, um, you know, we're excited about getting a chance to move on and, and play in Atlanta. Wow. wow. I feel great. You know, it's us against everybody else. We come back, you know, we owed them, they got us last time, but we got to win it counted. So that's what all that matter. I remember the season for the rest of my life, not just because we're going to the Super Bowl, but just because of the ups and downs, you know, the, the negative talks, just the adversity we hit, everything that happened in L.A., it'll be a season to remember. So hopefully we can get away with that Super Bowl win. Sometimes destiny has other plans. The Saints' magical season, led by a record-setting MVP caliber Drew Brees, comes to an end with a disappointing no call. More to come on that play. Their bags are packed and they're ready to go. The Rams are headed to their first Super Bowl in nearly 20 years. But will Todd Gurley be on the field or on the sidelines when they do? And Brady and the Pats are headed back to the Super Bowl once again, facing one of the youngest teams in the league in the Rams. It's youth versus experience in Atlanta. We'll break it all down coming up. Drew Brees, 6-0 at home in the playoffs. With his squad, fourth quarter, game tied at 20. Third and 10. Whoa. Incomplete. And no flags. No flag? So here we go. It don't the make call no sense. that everyone's talking about. Nikel Roby Coleman makes contact before the ball arrives. Sean Payton, not happy. In overtime, Saints opening drive after winning the coin toss. Second and 16 on the Saints 34. Breeze, pass tipped, intercepted by John Johnson. Rams, loving that. And now. They get a chance to win the game with the foot of Greg Zerline, 57-yard field goal. They're headed to the Super Bowl. Sean Payton on the losing end of this one, not happy about that non-call. Take a listen. We spoke initially, then I called to follow up, and first thing Al said when I got on the phone, we messed it up. And um, But we go into these league meetings, and... We sit as an ownership group, and we don't further evaluate the replay system. You know, there's just too much at stake. And it's listen, it's a hard job for those guys because it's happening fast. But I don't know if there was ever a more obvious pass interference call that, you know, here it is, the NFC Championship game. So tough one to swallow. Being that it happened right there in front of um, – you know, the person who would be the one making that call and everyone in the stands and everyone watching at home on TV. And, um, yeah, that, that, that makes it even more difficult. And yet, like I said, in the moment, you know, obviously you yell and scream and how'd you not see that? But then after the fact, it's like, all right, nothing we can do about it. It's, it's on to the next play. When you, Coach Payton talked to the NFL, they said they blew the call on two counts, pass interference and helmet to helmet. Yeah. What, what do you think? You're playing in a game of such huge magnitude. What do you, how do you digest that? Yeah, exactly. So I guess after they say that, what do we ask them? So do you give us a rematch? Can we play them again next Sunday? Can we reset the clock? What? Because we, we weren't playing this game that ended up like that. We prepared. Um, we, it's all about preparation. We both have jobs. Um, we come out there, and you, you officiate, and you got a job to do too. So you got to do your job. I mean, it hurts. Like, we invest a lot into this, so it hurts, but I don't think they really care. So the league admits they got it wrong twice. Yeah, what did they do? They, nobody want to hear that? Yeah. Okay, so going back to Sean Payton's comment, has there ever been a more obvious non-call? It probably has been. We don't recall it. Yeah, 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 but in a game of this magnitude. This is so yeah. recent. That, that, that play right there, 
change the whole outcome of the whole game, possibly yeah. the Super Bowl yes. champion. I can't not believe this. Because it's going to be first and goal. It, you had two ways. First and goal. You had two ways to call this. You could have called helmet to helmet or pass interference. Even though the game was over, after you make this call, but sometimes you got to understand these officials are a lot like these players. You know how some defensive backs, man, let me go play a little tentative back here. I don't yeah. want to get beat. Right. There is, the officials are saying, man, I don't want to be that, that one to throw mm -hmm. that flag because yeah. that flag right there could determine the I outcome get, of the game. Man, but I get it. Uh, pass interference states that when the ball is in the air, you can't have any contact yes. with the offender. And in this case, it was clear the ball is in the air. Like, you can't miss that call. I get it. Like, some people say bang, bang. That's that not bang, bang. bang. He, he, that the defender bang, wasn't bang. even looking. Right. I mean, you were not not playing I, the ball I mean, at I all. I just don't know how you missed that one. But let's – okay, yes, he missed the call. That was a long call time. But I don't know why the Saints threw that ball twice after that long catch, after that long completion to yeah. Ted Ginn Jr. You had no business throwing the ball. Run the ball, make them use their timeout. But you sometimes coaches sometimes coaches want to show you how great they are in play calling too. So you run the football, yeah, they got no timeouts, you yeah. kick a field goal, you're up three, and now there's 40 seconds on the clock yeah. as opposed to a minute plus with them having timeout. Yeah. What do they always say? Hindsight is what? It's, <laughs> it's a magnificent science. <laughs> Just imagine if I could think about tomorrow and having known already today, time, what it's going to be. Oh, you understand what you just Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, you just feel regardless good of that boy. call, Brady. the Rams <laughs> are headed to the Super Bowl and are facing the New England Patriots. And we've got you covered here on NFL Network. We have over 90 hours of live That's television Super Bowl week coverage. I think you're on 89 of the hours. That's a lot. Uh, Monday, January 28th, takes it all off. <laughs> good morning football starts each day. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage there at 7 a.m. And then don't miss Super Bowl opening night from Atlanta, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Then you got Super Bowl Sunday starting with game day morning at 9 a.m. Wraps up with game day.